everybody, Chav from Nature Box Pet Emporium here, going to wish you a very happy 4th of July, it's July 3rd, and as you can see by these large brown boxes, it's Reptile Shipment Day. So something new that we want to kind of start to do is we'll do unboxing videos, because it's kind of fun for us to share the excitement with you about what we're getting in, because though we order things, and we have a pretty good idea of what we're going to get because we have really good relationships with our vendors. It's always kind of a surprise, so we'll bring you guys in on the surprise. This is probably one of our largest shipments, one of our largest single shipments that we've gotten in in quite a while. Uh, these brown boxes represent close to five figures worth of animal purchasing. Um, and there's some really, 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 really cool things inside. So without further ado, let's check it out. I apologize for my attire. It's technically my day off, but when you work with critters and you're one of the owners, you never really get a day off. Which is fine because I love unboxing stuff. So as you can see, we have bags, which are exciting. So we got, this is a female Auslets chameleon and a male Auslitz chameleon, very healthy. Their head caps are not sunk in at all, which is very, very good. They have a good body weight on them. And we'll just kind of keep on going. We'll check things out. These feel like cups. So I'm going to assume tarantulas are in these guys. Let's uh, be a little cautious when opening. And dog just sniffed my foot, which kind of scared me. Can't see these ones. I'll assume that these are the emerald skeleton legs. It's a mystery. We'll let Elisa deal with those because I don't like tarantulas. And I like tarantulas even less when I can't see what's inside of them. So, a big hairy spider. Probably, what do you think that is, Elisa? Don't say spider. That must be one of the emerald skeletons or one of the baboons. So an emerald skeleton or a baboon. We got some nice, young, very colorful, very red Amazon tree boas. Some more different color Amazon tree boas, more so the normals. And then these are the nice ones. Look at the except like orange and reds. Those guys are awesome. Another big hairy spider. And then non marked bags. Those are always fun. The unmarked bags are always interesting because it could be nice or it could be very mean. This one I'm pretty excited about. If you know me, you know what I like then you will know that I'm excited for the So we have a male Parsons Chameleon, a young male Parsons Chameleon. Um, I would say this guy's maybe a year, year and a half old and he looks fantastic. His eyes aren't sunk in, his head's nice and plump. Um, the rostral projections on this guy are very small, so he's a young Parsons Chameleon. This chameleon will at least double in size. So that's really cool. It's important to, to always um, open up the animals, look at them, and give them a, just a quick once over to make sure that everything's nice and healthy and there's nothing that needs to be addressed. We have cages already set up for these guys, so after we do the video, then everything gets put in its, uh, its perspective cage. But you always want to just make sure that everything is good first. Because if like something, I don't know, let's say, is really dehydrated. We want to get it into uh, a shower or get it uh, get it misted or dripped as soon as possible so that we can start to make them better. This a female, young female Parsons. So she looks amazing. And uh, yeah, so those are going to be very difficult for me to put on sale, but I cannot keep everything unfortunately. Or can I? No, I can't. We got bills to feed and or kids to feed and bills to pay. So 
close that back up. And last but not least on this particular genre within the shipment. This one I'm, I'm really anxious to see. He said that he had a very, very blue Parsons. And oh my gosh. Did he ever. Look at that girl. She's like almost nosy bee blue. And amazingly healthy. Perfect. Wow. Not for sale. <laughs> So unfortunately she goes back in the bag for a few. Tie it up so we don't get out. And we're moving. So sometimes the bags are labeled, sometimes they're not. So this says blood python. I don't think I want to open up the black bag full of uh, biting the Twinkies. This one. I don't know what it is. Let's open it up. It says 10 something. So whatever it is, there's 10 of them. I have a pretty good idea what's in that one. And me too. Potentially also biting. So 10. Cute little baby Nicaraguan boss. Those look awesome. So nice, healthy, no stuck shit. Guys look great. We'll let Eric play with those things. Actually, we have some stuff in these boxes that Eric will both love and hate to deal with because they're even bitier than that. But really, those boas are not bite. They're, I'm just making, making sure. So more of those guys this is a good one worth opening up oh hello sir come in close to this one i don't want to take this guy out this is a very nice high white emerald tree boa you can see he's got a little bit of stuck shed, but we will give him a nice soaking and he will uh, he will look beautiful. We'll give him a few days. Settle in, soak, get rehydrated. And then this must mean the other one. Yeah. Is. Yeah, so this is one of the things that I'm really looking forward to seeing. I've never had one of these, so Emerald Tree Boas. Um, as you know, a very cool, highly sought after snakes. Generally a fairly poor disposition, uh, especially when their head is facing you, right, wanting to come out of the bag. So if we lose, we could come in. So, but I've never had a patternless emerald tree boa. So this guy has no, no, uh, no white markings on his body. Anxious to come out of the bag and say hello. So that's, that's super cool. You don't see the patternless ones uh, too frequently. They do exist, but fairly few and far in between. So he will be a, a great addition here at Nature Box Pet Emporium. If you haven't ever been to our store, definitely do check it out. You know, we're at Quincy and Parker in Aurora, Colorado. And uh, we always like having visitors. So we're going to put these guys in some of these in some terrariums to get them out of the way so we can get to the second level of the box. boxes within boxes. So these are really, really cool. You do not see these hardly ever, let alone in a, uh, in a reptile store. But we got them. 
and we got four. And I'm really excited. I have never had these. I like shelled critters. And I've never had these shelled critters before. But look at that. So this is a Burmese mountain tortoise. So these guys are awesome. Uh, these get pretty sizable, not like sulcata big, but uh, but pretty darn big. They have a very dark shell. Uh, and just a really, really awesome hardy tortoise. I would say this is a female. Um, but man, look at these guys. Look how cute that guy is. Great clear eyes. He's very strong. He's pushing against my hand. Great looking tortoise. Now the challenge is keeping them in the box until we get through everything else. We'll just take a quick peek at the other ones, make sure that everybody's good. So we got four of those. Sex ratio, I don't know. But all four look good. So one box down, one box to go. When you get big boxes like this, when you get really large shipments, it's always best to have them, um, you know, we don't do FedEx or things like this. We get them sent directly to the airport, and then we go to the airport. And a lot of these animals, one of the reasons that uh, we have such a, a big order, is both, you know, we've been selling a lot of animals lately, um, and we need some more, but also, if you're in the Denver area, July 21st, right, Elisa? Mm -hmm. July 21st, we're having a, a reptile expo. So, there you go, Elisa's panning over. So the Reptilian Nation Reptile Expo, Denver, Colorado, 21st and 22nd. If you're in the area, make sure you come by, or even if you're not in the area, drive on down, it should be a great time. We obviously are gonna have some really cool things. So come on over, give everybody a shot of what the what the box looks like when we first kind of dig into it. So you can see we have white line geckos, obviously very uh, spunky and active and healthy, wanting to bite me with great delight. We have, Elisa was excited about these. These are really cool. You can actually see it on that one. These are green eyed geckos. Think Tokay gecko with green eyes. There you go, as it comes into focus. So pretty cool if you like unusual or different geckos, those definitely uh, are a must-have for you. And they're not they're not too expensive either. They're a very affordable gecko. And they're a lot of fun to keep. And then and then we got some amphibians. So again, because we work really close with uh, our vendors. Um, he called me and said, hey, you know, you guys need to buy red-eyed tree frogs because these, these came in from the farm looking awesome. And I, I agree, all of these red-eyed tree frogs look just killer. Great body weight on them. And then all of these blue jean familia are the same. These came in looking fantastic. How fat and plump they are, very active, right out of the box. Immediately out of the box, they're active and frogging around, which is always what you want. Because if they're lethargic and kind of lazy, they don't look so good, that's not a good thing. You want them active, red eyed tree frogs, you want that bright green color, or even sometimes the dark color is fine too, but they need to look, they just need to have a good look about them. And all of these have a good look. So I'll get these guys kind of out of the way. What's your favorite thing so far, Elisa? Oh, well, we haven't gotten to my favorite yet. Oh, well, I know what she's talking about. What do you use your favorite so far? Oh, 
the Pylos tree boa was kind of cool, of course. The tortoises, super rare. Once the green eye geckos color up, they're going to be fantastic. Saw some more of the Pamelio. We got about a dozen of these guys. These all look, these look fan frog fantastic. These guys are awesome. Okay, so next we have ooh, something that's trying to bite me. We got not one, not two, not three, but four. Tapes together. Four green tree pythons. So we got a red one, we got some nice yellow ones. These guys all, all eaten, doing very well. Cute little guys. Now, this is what Elise is excited for. This is what she wants. Elisa, tell people what are these? So, these are three species of gecko, right? Do we get the third species? Um, two species, perhaps. Parodura. We have Parodura picta and Vizimba. Um, they call them the big headed geckos. Where are they indigenous to? From Madagascar. So, some Madagascar big headed geckos. The Parodura complex. Really cool. You don't see these very often, right? The Vizimba you hardly see. Picta is considered to be a fantastic uh, first gecko if you're trying your hand at breeding because they lay hard-shelled eggs, which means the eggs are a little bit hardier than uh, most geckos' leathery-shelled eggs. And then these last boxes are... These are super cool. This is another thing you don't really ever see. Uh, I think we got six of these. I think we got three pairs. Uh, we may end up doing a project with these that we'll tell you about later in the summer. We'll just unbox one so you guys can see. But... Sparney Turtles! These are really cool. So this is a male Spiny Turtle. This is, if you're familiar with it, the Spangler Eye. This is a cousin of the Spangler Eye. Uh, just the spiny turtle. He's come from Asia. Um, kind of like a, think of like a forest, like a forest turtle. They'll eat worms. They eat um, not like a lot of greens or anything. So definitely not your your standard uh, turtle. I'm gonna take out another one. Maybe we can get one that's has a little more of the, the spiny shell. Once they get bigger, the shell wears down a little bit. When they're young, they look like a, like a, like a ninja star or something. They're really cool. It's a smaller one. It's like a look at the shell, how pretty the bottom of the shell is. And then again, the spiny shell up front. This one is wanting to come out so we can accommodate. So yeah, these guys are super cool. Spiny turtles, little female with a tiny little tail, beautiful shell. And that's it for this shipment, guys. Uh, stay, check out our website. Uh, we'll have a lot of these up for sale shortly after we make sure that everybody's doing good and settles in for a little while. If you're in the area, make sure you come by the expo. Uh, and swing by our store. We're going to do more videos more frequently. Uh, and yeah, if you guys ever need anything, questions, comments, queries, concerns, uh, let us know. Comment down below. Like, subscribe, and hit that little bell. We'll talk to you next time.